Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how to download and install Windows Server 2019. Before I start downloading and installing Windows Server 2019, let me talk about the hardware requirements for installing Windows Server 2019 operating system. So here are the minimum hardware requirements needed to run Windows Server 2019. I'm in the Microsoft documentation. I will put a link in the description. For the processor, you need a 1.4 gigahertz 64-bit processor compatible with x64 instruction set that supports NX, DEP, CMPX, CH, G, 16B, LAHF or SAHF, Prefetch W, and also second level address translation either EPT or NPT. For the memory, you at least need 512 megabytes of memory. For the server with the desktop experience installation option, you need 2 gig of memory. You also need ECC type of memory, which is error correcting code if the server is a physical server. For the disk space, you need a minimum of 32 gig of disk space if you are using Windows Server Core installation option. For the network adapter, you need 1 gig network adapter, which is compliant with PCI Express architecture specification. And additional requirements that includes UEFI 2.3.1 C-based system and firmware that supports secure boot, trusted platform module, TPM, and graphic device with a display capable of Super VGA resolution of 1024 by 768 or higher resolution. Let me also talk about the installation options of Windows Server 2019. As with the previous version of Windows Server, Windows Server 2019 also has two installation options to choose from. The first one is Server Core and the second one is Server with Desktop Experience. Server Core is the recommended installation option because it has a smaller footprint that includes only the core components of Windows Server but supports all server roles and features without an inclusion of local graphical user interface GUI. Because of this, Server Core is more secure and requires less patching. Server Core is used for deployments which can be managed remotely through Windows Admin Center, PowerShell or other server management tools. The other installation option is server with uh, desktop experience, which is the complete installation and includes a full GUI. This option has a larger footprint than server core. Next, let's download the installation media for Windows Server 2019. I will download the ISO media from Microsoft Evaluation Center. I'm in the Microsoft Evaluation Center URL for Windows Server 2019. I will put a link in the description for this. And in here, I will select the ISO download, which is of 64-bit edition for English United States. I will click on it and it is going to download the ISO file. The file size is around 5 gig and it will take some time to download. But I've already downloaded this file and uploaded it to my ESXi host where I'll be installing Windows Server 2019 operating system as a virtual machine. So I will click cancel. Like I said, I will be installing Windows Server 2019 on a VM and it has all the requirements met which I mentioned before. The VM name is Server01 and I've already attached the ISO file of Windows Server 2019 to this VM. You can see here. So I will click cancel and I'll power on this VM. I'll press any key to continue. On the setup screen, select the language, time and currency format and keyboard or input method. I will only change the time and currency format to English India and click next. I will click install now. Now I'm going to select Windows Server 2019 standard evaluation desktop experience and click on next. I will accept the license terms and click next. Since I'm not doing an upgrade of operating system, I will click on custom, which will install a fresh operating system on this VM. I only have one hard drive, which is of 60 gig, which is showing as unallocated. So I'll select that and click on next. Now the installation will begin and it will take some time to complete.
okay i will click restart now after the installation has completed the server is going to restart on its own and it will restart the server a couple of times okay before you log into the server you must set the administrator password i'm going to specify my administrator password for the server and i'll click on finish okay i will log into this server with the administrator password which i have set since this is a vmware vm i'm going to install vmware tools so i'm going to click on actions guest os install vmware tools and inside the vm i'm going to open up windows explorer this pc and double click on vmware tools which will launch the installer i'll click next next install I'll click yes for the network prompt. I'll click on finish and click yes to restart. I will log into the server again. In the server manager, I will click on local server. And here are the basic configuration you would typically set after the installation of Windows Server. I will open up File Explorer, right click on this PC and click on properties. You can say it says uh, Windows Server 2019 Standard Edition. And it is also recommended that you update your Windows Server soon after the installation of Windows. So to do that, click on Start and go to Settings and click on Update and Security. And you can see it has already found some updates which are available to be downloaded and installed. So I will click on Install. It will take some time to download and install. I will click restart now. After the restart, I'll log into the server again. I'll go to Windows Update again and I'll click on Check for Updates again. And you can see it is downloading some additional updates, mostly the anti malware definitions for Windows Defender. I'll click restart now again. I'll log in back. Open Windows Update again. Click on check for updates. And it says you are up to date. Okay, so this is how you install Windows Server 2019 on a virtual machine. I hope you like this video. For more videos like these, please subscribe to my channel.